Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a different video. It's going to be an organizing video. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss another video from me. So today I'm going to show you how to organize my pantry. This was requested by one of my very dear friends. And here it is. So the first thing I did was to measure my space to decide what I needed. I'm working with five shelves that are 13 by 40 by 15 and also some floor space. Um, once I figured out my space, I laid out a plan to get my supplies. I decided to go with these wire shelves from Walmart and these Dollar Tree dish pans. And I'm also going to be using some canisters. I'm using these two quart canisters by Walmart. They're Mainstays brand. This one gallon plastic canister from the Dollar Tree and some other two quart canisters from the Dollar Tree. I got about five of those. And then about 10 of those little 32 ounce canisters. They only had like some of the white, some of the blue, so I ended up getting both and alternated the color. So after I cleaned everything out and purged the food, I was ready to start because I had a clean slate. Now I started to assemble my shelves. I got three packs of these three pack of shelves. They came in a pack of like a small, large, medium, and I just kind of like match the sizes together. These are great because you can interlock them to adjust them based on the size of your cabinet. And so that's what I did. I used the two large together, two medium together, two small together, and then an extra small one at the bottom. So I'm going to be using the dish pans underneath. They're going to be used as um, drawers, and they're super cool because you can use them and just throw in your food in there once you take them out of the original packaging. It's very quick and easy and very easily accessible and they work perfectly with the size of the wire shelves. I think the Dollar Tree has these kinds of shelves too, but not on a regular basis. For sure you will find them at Walmart. And also to label them, I'm using chalkboard labels and I got these 24 pack chalkboard labels from Walmart. I got two packs. And I'm using a chalkboard marker to write everything out. So I'm going to start with my gallon size container. It's the biggest one I needed because I had angel hair and it's really tall. So I used that, fits perfectly in there. And because I didn't have more of those um, containers, I decided to use these little baskets to make a shelf for the back row. And then I put the two quart containers on there and they all lined up perfectly and became like the same height. So I just filled it out with my dry goods, sugar, flour, extra cereal, oatmeal, that type of stuff. And then I was ready to work on my second row. For the second row, I'm using the two quart containers from Walmart because they're a little bit taller. And I just fill it up with some like pasta. We use a lot of pasta in my house. And I didn't label them unless they were special, like for example, gluten-free. Because you can't see the labels because they'll be um, having another row of canisters in front of them. So once I fill those up with the snacks and cookies and crackers, I was ready to start the third row. And I'm using these 32 ounce containers from the Dollar Tree. I did label those. Um, a lot of them as pasta, but you also had some almonds and some different types of granola. And then when you see the second row is pretty easily accessible. It doesn't need a label because you won't see the label anyway. The back one, I do have to move some canisters to reach for it, but that's the best I could do with the amount of space that I had. Then I was ready to fill up my dish pans. I just th started putting things like tea in there because they came in boxes that fit in there nicely. Um, filled it with some other large bags like crackers and chips, like extra um, bags of those. I put my pasta sauce in there at the top. And I really like these potatoes from the Little Potato Company. And they come in this nice little box. So this fits about three of them. So I put those in there. And then I have some quick bread in the last one. So that's my second shelf. The middle shelf of the canisters is my third shelf. The fourth shelf, I did the same thing with the dish bins. And I filled it up with instant oatmeal, like the baby's baby food, some snack bars different kinds of soups, stuff we use for like every day for lunch. Um, my daughter's homeschool, so she likes to have stuff she can grab easily. And then I have some backup supplies I didn't want to like reach too high for. 
And those are the three shells right there. And now we're going down to the bottom shelf. That one I wanted to use um, for like my storage bags and you know, press and seal, saran wrap, aluminum foil, um, straws, those types of things. And I'm using this 25 quart can, um, can that I got from Walmart. And I did put some contact paper in the front because I didn't want to see everything, but I wanted to see everything. <laughs> The second one has my extra water and in the middle I also put some dish pans, some extra soda from like if someone comes over. It's not something that we drink in my house but sometimes guests, you know, request soda and I can offer it to them. I put some trash bags in there, my extra um, pre-workout drink, some raw honey and just miscellaneous items. Still needs to be labeled and I'm working with this floor space. On the left there I'm using the same type of canister that has extra big bags of rice and the other one has extra shopping bags. The middle one I will be is empty because that's where we put our recycling items. The top shelf has all our emergency food supplies. Those two gray bins are rotated once a year and I don't go in them unless there's an emergency. And the middle space I put like you know extra cereal boxes and extra bulk items and it's hidden behind my daughter's black lunch box that I take out when we go out. I use it like as a little mini diaper bag. And that's it. That's my whole pantry. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. I like to post some really cool stuff there. And again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. All right, bye.